already, before this video starts, I just want to say sorry that um, these parts of the screen wasn't showing up. Um, that was my bad. I wasn't paying attention, and OBS Studio, for some reason, just didn't record the entire game. Also, this is what the whole, at the end of the video, the hallways will look like. So, if you don't, what they, don't like what they look like, um, then you can go ahead and just exit the video now, because, yeah. Um, but you can obviously customize them how you want, and stuff like that. And at the end of the video, I see some stuff that might be pretty useful to you in the future. So, yeah. Uh, something I did not do in the video was actually see how well that fit together, so um, it, you noticed me not do that, then sorry about that. Um, also, let me know down in the comments what you think I sh should do after I did the, what I was mentioning at the end of the video. Um, maybe I'll actually ask you about that. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, sorry about the not side not recording. It was supposed to record um, by... Your accident, it didn't record, so I'm sorry about that. If that didn't help you, um, super sorry, super, super, super sorry. But yeah, hopefully now that's fixed. Um, in the next video, that will be fixed as well, so you can actually see what's happening. Sorry, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make an SCP hallway that looks nice. Um, I just felt like making this video because I'm pretty bored today. Um, there's a lot of stuff we're going to be doing in this video, so... Yeah, let's, let's just get into it. So, I'm going to build a pretty simple hallway. I have made very complicated hallways in my life. I, I won't show them to you right now because they're deep in my inventory, but... I made very complicated type hallways and very easy ones. If you want to, you can even use, um, no, that's for the pen, You can even use, uh, Bone Tools by F3X. I really recommend that when you're building something that you want to make look nice. Um, so for this, I'm going to actually switch this to 0 0.2 studs right now. Just to set this up so to begin us. Because I'm just going to start by building it, like... If you want to measure yours to, like, see how much you want, like, um... processing uh, how tall you want it uh, and you want to make sure that it actually fit the character you just want to insert the block rig using animations rig builder r6 block rig and then just use that and move it where you want it to be and then you can use that to measure out this so this is going to be seven studs high for the first piece and let's just make it let's say 10 studs like that. Actually, maybe 20. Or 30. Yeah, 30. Let's make it 30. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take this and, um, for this one, we'll make it smooth plastic and let's make it just a little bit darker. Maybe use the black preset material. Then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that, drag it up like that. Bring that up one piece, select it. Change my increasement to 0 0.1 stud and make it a point stud smaller. I'm gonna rip that back at two. Make it neon. And let's use white. And then I like to duplicate the neon and then make it smooth plastic. And then make it transparent to 0 0.7. Just so you keep that feeling of you know, whoops. Oh, somebody joined in here. I'm making a YouTube video. Sorry, I didn't mean to be in here. <laughs> the guy was in that voice channel. Whoops. Sorry for, about that. Like I was saying, you want to make this 0 0.7 and don't delete the model by accident like I did. And if it doesn't like, I actually believe it's 0 0.5. So you keep that feeling of neon, but it's not too bright, so it doesn't blind your player's eyes. I'm just going to name these pieces so I know what they are neon, so that way, if I want to duplicate them after this, I can. I'm going to duplicate this, bring it up like that, do that. Make my increasement back to 0 0.1. Drag it down to there. Oh, we didn't want to cover that up, did we?
it to there like that. Bring it back like that. And we're actually going to make this deep in the wall like that, along with this piece. Just to make it feel like they're not like too close together or too tight or something like that. I'm actually going to turn off that for a minute and maybe bit it up close like that. And then turn back that back on and then make it super two studs. For this one, since we made that seven, we're going to make this one 2.5, 2.6. And then we're going to make this into diamond plated. I'll give you a nice diamond plate texture. You want to maybe change it to be a little bit lighter, but at the same time a little bit darker. So maybe something like that. And actually for these neon pieces, let's actually just go ahead and make them. Um, what position would be the up and down? Okay, the middle one. No, I meant side to side, sorry. That one. Let's go ahead and just copy that. And paste it into these two neon pieces. That way it just lines up because I actually think that might look a little bit better. Select these pieces in that. I'm actually going to make these line up again. Just a little bit closer. So, yeah, like that. And then turn it off. Turn that back on. Grab your two neon pieces and duplicate them. And bring them up here. Make that 0 0.1 stud movement and put them right there. Then you're going to duplicate this and bring it up to the top like so. And then we're going to drag it down until it's the size of 3. There you go, this is a basic SCP wall. I might actually make this metal so it's a little bit darker and it seems more sturdy. Yeah, like that. Now if we turn it to... One thing I'm also going to show you in this video is lighting. So your aspects of lighting look amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this down here. Um, scale it down like that. Mm, drag it out to there like so. And do it like that. And just to give it a little bit more pop. If you do say it that way, um, we're gonna give it like a little wedge piece, maybe. Actually, maybe we can extend it out this far and extend it up like that. Maybe too far. We like that. And then we can make it out of metal. And do the same color. Maybe we can actually make this one darker. Well, maybe a little bit this one, but maybe just a little bit brighter. Or, or you know what? We can make these actually make out of them, make them out into black. Let them make them into diamond plated so you can actually see them in it. Diamond plated is smooth plastic. And then make it really black. Yeah, maybe something like that. And we're gonna take that, make our rotate 90 degrees so you are sure to get it completely down like that. And then I go ahead and turn it back off. Then I drag it up to somewhere like up there. As you can see, you have a decently sized uh, wall now. Um, this will look very nice on your site. Maybe you could even change the colors on these to be something else. Um, and yeah, you could do that or something else along those lines. Or maybe you could even change up the entire design for that. I'll show you different, a couple different ways to make designs of hallways. Um, 
so that you can, yeah, add some extra detail into your site. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, turn it back into metal, and then turn it back into the normal black color. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag it right here. I'm gonna make that five long right there. And then I'm gonna hop into one of my other games and grab a, grab a de decal that I'll leave in the description then so that you guys can do this next part. Alrighty, so once you have the texture, um, I'm gonna wanna go ahead and make it um, from the beginning to the end around about three studs long. Then you're gonna take this piece, duplicate it, make it about one stud high, and then three studs long, perfectly matching around about that. Um, because it's starting to get dark over here, what I'm going to do is going into lighting and turn off global shadows just for a minute. And actually, no, that's not correct. Change the shadow map for more stick lighting, and then I'm just going to go ahead and grab like a light out of the toolbox. I like went the super bright one so I can see what I'm doing. I'll just bring it up here, and then you should be able to see what you're doing pretty fairly now. So above here, we're going to take this, oh yeah, make sure everything that you've done is anchored, or else you can have some issues <laughs> when you spawn a game to test it out. Um, you want to make a cylinder. I'm going to make mine with a reddish texture, and make it metal. And then you just want to drag it up here, make it a bit smaller. I recommend about the size of that. This so it can actually fit inside your box area that you made up here. If that doesn't still does not fit, which as you can see it doesn't because the size is a little bit bigger than four, let's go ahead and make it two by two. And now, as you can see, it should fit in there perfectly fine. And here's where we get into complicated stuff, because you're going to want to make unions in <laughs> negative parts. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out to there. Duplicate it. Put one on the other side. Take that and make it a lot smaller. Oh, jeez. Now we're going to use this, make it green. I'm going to make my full screen. And then blue, like that. And then we're going to make this one just a brown. So these would be like electrical wires and that's really, really, I can speak, I can speak. <laughs> and these would be like water lines, air lines, something like that, depending on what your facility is based off of. And then you can take the size of this and bring it out here. And you're going to want to scale it down by a lot. Maybe to something like that. And then you're going to want to make it like a size bigger. Actually, not a size bigger. Actually, no, maybe we won't do that. Now, as you can see from down here, this is how it will look. Almost like how it will look. Um, you're going to want to take this, put it right there. I'm going to keep this at the size of 2, and then literally just duplicate all of this. I'm actually going to name this all top, 
duplicate this, rotate it, and then drag it along like so. Actually, we're actually gonna make this. Yeah, we're actually gonna make this to the size of about 1.6, and then we're gonna select all these top pieces. And just include that. And duplicate it, rotate it, and connect it up like that so you can put lights right here in the middle. Then you're gonna want to go through and select everything that's on the wall. I'm gonna name this wall one. Duplicate it, rotate it, and then name this wide wall two. And then name got select all that and then top. And then we're gonna move this off the ground a little bit for the next piece. You're gonna want to take a. Actually, gonna want to select all these and make sure they are anchored so that they will stay in place when she's fun in game. You're gonna want to take a block. Go ahead and move it down here. Make it line up. Like so. It doesn't work, you can always copy the size of that, paste it into that, and then select the position of that, and paste it into that, just so you can get precise size measurements. Drag it over into there, and then drag it down a bit like there. And then we're gonna make this, um, hmm. This one we're gonna make it smooth, plastic, and dark. Then we're gonna make it the size of two. Duplicate it. Move it over like so. Drag it down like so. Actually, no, we'll leave it right there. Make it neon. Make it white. Just like we did before, we're going to duplicate it, make it smooth the plastic, and then you're just going to want to make this a little bit transparent. Hmm. Maybe we won't do that. Actually, instead of doing that, we're actually just gonna make a diamond plate piece right here. Make it completely visible and make it out of black. Bring this over like that. Make this one out of metal and then make it out of top. And then take that, actually move it over here and make it dark like so. Then you're just going to duplicate these, rotate it over, bring it over to the other side, and go ahead and drag this out the entire way. Like so. And... As you can see, there you go, you have a little bit of yourself a hallway. But the next thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to make lighting. I don't think you want it this dark. 
So something that I'd like to do is I like to make special lighting so it actually goes in, um, makes it actually look good. Um, so I'm gonna actually make the name at the bottom, and I'm gonna start by making that's but but the tone bottom baton bottom bottom. Okay, then you're going to want to take another part, actually, you're going to want to reinsert that light. Just so I, you can see what you're doing again, sorry, I didn't mean to delete it. You're going to want to take this part. I'm going to make it like that. Make it diamond plated, and then we're gonna make it out of a gray like so. Then we're gonna go ahead and make the rotation of five degrees, like so. Then you're gonna want to do that. Bring it down. Bring it out like so. Bring it like that. Make it 3.2 studs away from that, so that'd be like one, just that if I name one, duplicate it, and then make your thing one stud. And change it back to 0.2. Then you're gonna wanna take this, make it one stud. Oh, sorry, 0.1 stud. And you want to make this zero studs. I know that sounds very difficult, but what we're doing because, but you just want to trust me on this. And then you want to duplicate it again, move it up it like that, make it smooth, the plastic, and you're gonna to want to go ahead and make it round about that. So you have yourself a little light like so. Sorry about that. And then all these pieces like right here to make it look smooth and it perfect. You just wanna select no sorry, not those. You just wanna select them and go ahead and make union them together. As you can see they drawn up perfectly. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take this and change this to point two studs. Move it to about the center. Maybe make it point one stud so you can get that. That's one stud. Whoops. Okay, then make this point two again. Drag it to there, and then do something like so. You're gonna find the, you're gonna want to find the neon piece and insert a point light. I'm gonna delete that. Actually, we're gonna keep it. We're just gonna move it over here for now. Okay. 
Okay, never mind. We don't want a point light. We probably actually want a surface light. And then this piece that's supposed to be covering up the neon. Look at that, like that transparent. Then the surface light. We want to find the front surface on here. Which I'm pretty sure it's going to be front, but yeah, not mistaken. I recommend keeping it at that. I'm going to keep it at one brightness and I'm just going to actually increase the range. Now, as you can see, if we go and select everything right here, including the union, drag it out, make sure that we have everything selected, and name this white. And let's just um, duplicate it in real quick just to see how bright this actually is. And let's make it night. Okay, as you can see, it just goes a little bit too far, which is perfectly fine. You would expect it out of something like this. I'm actually going to probably take this out. And we're just going to make this a ceiling light. If you want to keep the, the light that I was originally doing, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, but that's just one of the lights that I was showing you. Because in this tutorial, we're showing you a bunch of different ways you can make your foundation look nice and pretty and neat. Oh, you might also want to make the angle. 180 and then you can change the brightness from there to fit your holly it's a perfect design and you're gonna want to size it down so it just fits the entire holly so you have one light per holly that's all so you're not like going too insane on how many lights you have and you know all of that insaneness I'm gonna go ahead and just try to get this centered. As you can see, that should be the center right there. And if you go ahead and drag it up a bit, I'm gonna actually remove the starting crescent and go ahead and do that. And as you can see, now we have one light for that entire hallway please. And if we just put it inside the top, and then reselect all of our hallway and duplicate it and move it over to line up perfectly. As you can see, it looks nice and neat with how far spaced out the lights are and how much lighting we have put into it. You can change the lighting any way you want to make it look more realistic in any way. But that is up to you. Now we're gonna add one thing to the end. That may look like, may, may pop out in your site. I don't know, I'm not sure for, for sure. It just depends what kind of members you have. So on the wall, you're gonna drag out something like this. And do something along the lines of this. Um, actually for this one, I'm actually gonna take a I light and go ahead and delete it at this point because we do not need it anymore. So for this hallway, I'm going to name this hallway. Then let's say you have a hallway but it goes to an ending and you want it to stop smoothly and neatly with maybe nice round corners. I don't know how you want to do it, but whatever way you want to do it, we're going to teach you how. I'm going to just drag this into lighting so we don't have to worry about it for now. And then for this, since we're going to try to make it a nice, smooth, like, tin style thing, maybe into, into like an actual wall piece that at the end where you can have an SCP door or something along those lines. 
Well, I'm gonna just rotate mine like that. And then line it up. And then have it come out like this. And then take it. Take this one. Duplicate it. Rotate it. And line it up. Okay, as you can see, we did something like that, just to make sure that it's actually perfect. As you can see, that's negative 20, and this is negative 160, which means that we did not, which means that hopefully that looks nice and neat, which it does not because the hallway does not actually go through the other one. There you go. Now you have a nice ending piece right here, and if you just go take your bo bottom, um, you want to take these pieces and rotate them to line up as well and just drag them out to there and go ahead and do some more rotation to adjust as needed and then what I recommend doing right here is just taking this piece right here and then lining it up with the other piece so that way it's not clipping through each other I'm just going to want to actually extend this out all the way. I know you might be thinking, whoa, but what the frick, man? I don't want mine to look so ugly by doing that. Well, just wait for a moment and let me show you what I'm going to be doing. So, rotate that to line up with our walls. Line it up. Go ahead and take this, go it down like this, like so. Go ahead and select everything except for this piece right here. Duplicate, union it, negative it, sorry, negative it, and then union it with this piece. And now as you see, you have this nice and simplistic thing going into the wall. And if we go ahead and for the walls. But now we have to do the ceiling, right? So let's go ahead and do the ceiling now. And we're all gonna actually we're gonna take these and group them together and name it wall twos. Can take these walls and group them together and name them walls one, wall ones, and we're gonna take this wall right here and we're gonna name it wall three. And then you can obviously go inside it and downscale it so it actually fits. But that's something I recommend doing with F3X so you don't have to worry about that. Um, then something that we're actually going to do here is we're going to take this piece right here, duplicate it, move it right there, super scary, and move that right there. We're going to move this right here. We're going to union all these texture pieces together. I'm actually going to steal these two textures out of them. And then we're going to union them together. Paste the textures inside. Take this wall. Oh, whoa. Take this wall. Move it to right there. Duplicate this. Move it like that. Do this like so. You can move it to point one stud to line this up perfectly, like so. 
and I recommend changing it back to 0.2 instead. Then we're going to take a sphere. Now what you might be thinking, but why a sphere? You'll see in one second. And if we change that to that, make it metal. Actually, let's make the lighting back to 214. Sorry, I forgot to mention that you could do that. I'm gonna name, we're gonna anchor this part and put it inside of the top. Point one. If you really want to dedicate enough time to do this, you can go and do that. I recommend just making it on, turning off that, and then just lining it up perfectly. Or if you don't want to do that, you could just do something more simply that is do just be lazy and then merge them together like so. Which is actually something I probably should have done in the first place and then done the ball thing. So we're actually going to keep this ball here and we're just going to move it over there. Then we're going to take this uh, piece right here, move it inside of that piece right there, and then we're going to move that piece right there. There, I'm gonna take this piece and move it in like so. This is just a simple trick to make it look like you actually have like a nice little corner sitting there. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as the people from the bottom can't tell, or if you know people don't pay too much attention to detail. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to do that because it takes a super long time. And maybe we won't, we won't even have this. Maybe we'll just have the parts so they go straight into the piece. So I'm just going to control Z this all the way back. But that's just something you could do on your site. Like I said, I'm showing you all the different ways that you can make your site. And you can make your site any way that you want to because it is your site. And I'm not going to force you to do anything. Um, we're going to change this time back to 14, just so we can see. You're going to want to take this, whoops. And you're going to want to just move that into there. Move that into there. Like I said before, the series is uh, mainly just so you can learn what you can do with your site. So if you didn't like that part, you had the choice to skip ahead. I should probably add that in text or something to say, this part is just a demonstration. You don't have to do this for your site. If you want to, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Just so people know, because I like to do things like that. And just so people know what they can do with their site. Because obviously it's their game, and I'm not going to tell them what to do. I'm just telling them little recommendations or just ideas for them. Something I'm actually going to do for this piece is I'm actually just going to pull out F3X, um, change the sizing to 0.2 increment, and we're just going to select um, these pieces so that we can just move one and it moves all of them. This is a trick that I use a lot, and if you actually watch me build, you can actually watch me do this. And we can just, the reason why I like to use F3X is because you should just select every single piece, move it out like that, and boom, you're done and dusted with that. Although you're going to have to come back here and make sure that none of the pieces accidentally rescaled out the back. 
And then you could go ahead and close off the UX. And now, as you can see, you have a smooth polygon into that, but then you also want to make sure that you still scale these, which is what I'm going to do with SCX once again. And as long as you have no hackers that come into your game and, like, come in and, like, rechain, like, fly out through your sky, nobody's ever going to see the sloppiness except for you and your developers, and they'll understand why this happened. As you can see, now, if we go ahead and group this all together, and name it all, right? make sure that it's anchored, like I've standard with everything else. Actually, gonna make sure we take off caps lock. One more thing that we're actually gonna do before so we're gonna take this and we're gonna just drag it all the way to the end right there. So that you can see back there. As you can see that's all that's that side of the hallway. Um, the part two of this video will be me showing you how to make uh, three ways, four ways, stuff like that. So you don't have to like put it together while you're building the site. Um, that's just the first two hallways. So yeah, uh, if you use these hallways in your SCP game, let me know. I would like to check out your SCP game once it's released. Um, because I want you to follow this tutorial and stuff like that. Uh, so this is just going to be part one out of an entire series we might do on how to build an SCP site. Um, but everything's going to come in different ways, like how to build doors and stuff like that is going to come differently. Um, so that, you know, you, so, and I won't have an upload schedule specifically for this series. It will just be us having fun making an SCP site. Or something along those lines. Or and it's just me showing you how to make an SCP site. Like I, I mean, I know I'm not a professional at making SCP sites, but I still have tips for you guys. I mean, I, I can build. I know, I know some things about building. So why don't I show them with you so that you can make your game just a tiny bit better? I like currently, when I'm making Area Two, at the time of making this video, I made it so that. When duplicating these hallways and turning them around, they don't line up perfectly, which is what's happening here. But that's just a simple turning fix. But I didn't make them properly so that you can't do this stuff. Um, and so that's why I'm just sharing my experiences with you guys on the building so that you guys can make yourselves a better game, a better site, a better pretty much everything. Um, So yeah, there's that. Um, so that's gonna be the end of this video. If this is a very long video and you followed all the way to the end, I'm not sure how long this video is exactly because I have to split it up into two pieces. Um, oh, I had to go AFK for a minute doing it while I was grabbing the piece for the roof, which I will leave a decal ID for that in the description, or I'll just leave you a model that you can use in the description. But here's a basic hallway I just set up for you guys real quick, so, so as a demonstration for this video. As you can see, it looks ugly from the outside, but as soon as you go inside, it's this beautiful masterpiece. The lights line up, like, it just looks super nice. And I can't wait to see this, and I might like to introduce this hallway into my own game in my Sector 4, but that's just up to me. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, part 2 will come out soon on how to make 3 ways and 4 ways, and then after that we might make something like how to make an SCP door, or how to just, or how to like introduce SCPs into your site, or something along those lines, or how to do containment breach alarms and stuff like that that changes the color of your hallway lights to, from white to red. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you let me know by dropping a like, subscribing, and sharing, which you don't have to do, but it would be nice, and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.